Have you ever been among UUs and heard the acronym JLA before? Well, today on 3 Minutes in UU History, we're going to introduce you to the man behind the letters. American social ethicist and UU liberal theologian, James Luther Adams, or JLA, as he's referred to in UU spaces, did much work to bring change to how we as UUs consider science and reasoning. He invited us to examine our faith as a standard practice. JLA was born in 1901 in Washington State to an evan evangelical minister father. JLA started his working life at the Northern Pacific Railroad before attending the University of Minnesota and then Harvard Divinity School before becoming a Unitarian minister. During this time at Harvard, JLA participated in some very deep small group work which shaped his love and promotion of small groups as a working model for all people. During this time, that group was called the Greenfield Group. JLA served a few different congregations after his graduation from Harvard. And during the 1930s, JLA also spent time studying in Germany and was heavily influenced by those experiences. In 1937, he entered the world of academics as an instructor at Meadville Lombard Theological School. In 1956, JLA moved to Harvard Divinity School where he taught Christian ethics until 1968 when he retired. <laughs> While officially retired, JLA continued to teach at Andover Newton and Meadville Lombard for many, many years. JLA passed away July 26, 1994 and his birth buried in Cambridge, Massachusetts. JLA was a prolific writer with many titles to his name. He often wrote on what it meant to be a human in the world, a humanist, and what it meant to live in a faith that allowed folks to question all they felt, saw, and knew. In fact, it became a faith that asked you to ask questions as part of being in community. Many of these things we plan to visit in the future of Three Minutes in UU History a little bit closer. For now, I leave you with this quote from James Luther Adams for you to consider deeply, and that is, church is a place where you get to practice what it means to be human. And that's Three Minutes in UU History. Thank you.